and happy fall. Finally, we are getting around to finishing up this video. Full disclosure, I started filming clips of this video a month ago. It is now October, and so it has been such a slow process of trying to clean and decorate for fall around here. And if you're new here, I'm a full-time registered nurse. And so just trying to find time in between uh, working and I have four kids. And so it's just, there's always something going on. There's a lot going on all the time. And so finally, finally, we have a fall decorate with me video. And also there's a little bit of cleaning at the beginning. So I wanted to do a little intro into this fall clean and decorate with me. At the end of the video, we will walk through all the different spaces because I did not capture every little thing that I did as far as decor on camera. And so we'll go through all the different spaces and you can kind of see where we ended up and how the house looks for fall. I'm sure there will be some things that get added here and there, but for the most part, we are all set uh, for the next couple of months because I think we have until December 1st. I know a lot of people will go and start decorating for Christmas on Thanksgiving, but uh, we will probably wait until December to start getting Christmas out. We'll see. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this clean and decorating for fall video. All right, here we go. We are getting started with our laundry. We are a family of six, and so we are never not doing laundry. Not only am I washing it, but we're also going to spend some time folding and putting away all of this laundry. extremely embarrassing look at what we're dealing with here I mean three-year-olds am I right we have a lot of work to do before tackling all of the cleaning I did get a grocery pickup order and so I am putting away all these groceries before I dive into the cleaning of this chaotic mess Thank you. 
do you also have a three-year-old that prefers to eat the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms and then proceed to throw what she doesn't enjoy on the ground? Or is it just me? I really don't think that there's any better feeling in the world than living in a clean and tidy space. I feel like when you have a lot of children, your life is just chaotic with noise and things and everything going on, making decisions and all the things. And so when my house and my space is clean and tidy, it just truly helps me to relax at the end of the day. Okay, you will see me change out the sheets here, though at the end of the video when I do the final walkthrough of the house, you will see that I have different linens on the bed and it just it is such a cozy space. I love how our room came out um, fully decorated. very curious to know your thoughts on doing a bit of a muted fall garland. I mentioned it later, but I did kind of go the more neutral route. I used lamb's ear uh, for the base of the garland and then just some neutral colors. I used these fairy lights and I don't recommend. I bought this large pack of the fairy lights from Amazon and I have to say not only did my three-year-old break them within a day, they also died very very quickly so I don't recommend those lights. I 
I ended up tying each piece together as well as hanging it on the banister with just some pipe cleaners. I got a brown color, kind of goes with the stain on our stair rail and I just kind of wrapped up all three of these pieces because it was only these three to start with. Um, shortened that up and then used the same style pipe cleaner to hang them on the stair rail. had 
bit more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could eat everyone There'd be no wars Okay, we are fastly making our way through all of this decorating. Now I'm doing the viral ghosts. Um, they're very simple, very easy to make. But again, the same thing with the fairy lights here. I just would not recommend them. Also, I had to use three strings for each of these ghost and so that just becomes a major hassle at the end of the day trying to remember to go and cut all those on and off rather than having regular Christmas style lights where you can plug and unplug so definitely take that from this <laughs> from my mistake and just go ahead and switch over to the Christmas style lights but they turned out adorable nonetheless I used some more of that beautiful mustard yellow to make a bow for the girly ghost and so this was just a really fun easy DIY What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Okay, let's go ahead and start the tour now. It's gonna look kind of funny. We're starting off in our bedroom, but we ha we got in our lamp shades, but the actual lamps will not be delivered until tomorrow. So there's our lamp shade. Actually, Curtis had the lamp shade on top of this pumpkin, which was actually not terribly unattractive. It was actually kind of cute, but anyway. We have this space on our side tables where I have our lampshade just to give the feeling that that lamp is there. We have this terracotta style pumpkin and that's pretty much it. This is Curtis's side of the bed and so it's um, not as decorated as my side. <laughs> I probably could, he wouldn't care, but. Um, the next thing are these sheets. I didn't show when I was um, doing like the clean of our room because I uh, had not washed these at that point, but these are the most gorgeous, cozy flannel sheets I've ever slept on. They're so gorgeous. It bringing the pattern into my neutral room space has just been so cozy i love it so much i will definitely be doing pattern from here on out because i do like the simple linen duvet the simple white linen duvet it's like a cream color um so love the pattern sheets for that extra little pop of color and interest um and then these are the little pumpkins that I had gotten from the dollar store. Um, the sheets are Target 
by the way. Um, these are just little dollar store pumpkins. I thought about wrapping them in some type of garland or some light because I thought the light would be very cute, some little fairy lights, uh, but I did not do that. We went super simple here. Okay, over here on my side of the bed, it's just so adorable. I really wish the lamp was here because it kind of looks silly with the lampshade just here. But um, these are those adorable spooky ghosts that we got from Home Goods. The terracotta pumpkin is also from Home Goods. This vase I got uh, from Target. And it's so nice. It's like a really good pottery barn dupe. And then these are just some of the... I don't want to call them greenery because they're not really green, but some of the faux plant pieces that I got from Kirkland's. These are from Kirkland's. Um, these are from the dollar store. It was just a little fun style plants. And then this is also from Kirkland's. It has um, a little bit of fragrance. I wasn't really sure where to put this, so it kind of just ended up here giving that little area some height. The little ghosts are so adorable. Here is the full look with the bed and the two side tables all done. Um, the pillow, the cozy pillow in the middle, I thought it was just really cute um, and cozy. And it happens to go really, really well with the overall theme here with the burnt oranges that are in the sheet, the white of the overall pillow I just think looks really really nice together um, and then we have this mustard yellow throw blanket this was also from the dollar store and it's just really really cozy this has been super cozy for us over the last um, couple of weeks just unwinding here every night I honestly am having such a hard time like not being in bed because I'm just feeling so comfortable and warm in here. So absolutely love it. This has become, or this is like my favorite room in the house. <laughs> now in the living room, I got these pumpkins from the dollar spot at Target. I thought that they were just really cute. It almost gives like the feeling that the pumpkin is kind of growing from the Monstera. Maybe that's just me, but it's like kind of a little pumpkin patch. And I did the same on the other side and then it's slightly, a slightly different pattern, but um, I thought it was kind of cute, kind of, again, made me feel almost as if like the pumpkin was sort of in that pumpkin patch type thing. Let me know if you <laughs> get that or if I'm just crazy. On our console, this is actually temporary. I have a different piece of furniture that's gonna go here. Um, it just hasn't been delivered yet. But on this console, I really like the way that it turned out. It's very boho feeling to me, which is in general not completely my style, but um, I think it just looks really, really cute. All these pumpkins, they're from Target. The taper candle holders are from Target. The taper candles are from Amazon, which they're great anthropology dupe because they have um, kind of this extra texture on there, like the anthropology ones. This one does not. And then this one has some texture as well. And I got all the dried florals, which they're more so feathers and cattails than florals. But there is also some dried eucalyptus in here as well. But I thought that was really fun. This vase is from Target. And then just some more of these little pumpkins. I thought overall it was simple. On our oversized chair, it's almost giving that coastal grandma. <laughs> the plaid, the whites, the blues, and then this cozy material with the pumpkins I thought was just very cute and basic. And when I have it all together, it just has that cozy coastal grandma 
kind of feeling. Um, I have our regular checkered blanket. Pretty much everything here is from Amazon or Target. On our larger couch, pretty much it's just all pillows. There are all the pillows are from Target. The throw blanket on the back from Amazon. I mean, what's cozier and more fall than a plaid checkered blanket? And just these sweet pillows that are embroidered. Um, I thought they were really simple, cute. This pumpkin one is really playful. Um, yeah, all the colors are just so warm. And on our coffee table, it is kid friendly. <laughs> I got these two pumpkins. They were also from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe. And for our books, I put fall children's books because we have four kids. And I just thought that was a little more appropriate than doing like an adult book that wouldn't be used. Um, and then I got these adorable coasters. They're um, crocheted pumpkin coasters and they're so precious there's it's coming off as white but it is a little more cream colored and then again that like burnt orange color these came in a pack of four and i thought they were so cute our banister garland came out a little bit different than what i had envisioned for it i still think it looks really cute and really sweet um, it does go all the way up the banister, but I went more greens and neutral on here rather than the bright oranges or reds. Um, this is the same garland that is on our bed. That was from the dollar store. These cute little felt garlands are from Etsy. They're so adorable. These lamb's ear garlands, I realized they're not like shouting fall, but I did think that they were sweet um, and could go for a fall garland. And then I put this really pretty mustard yellow yarn on here as well, made a little bow, and I think that it looks really sweet. The other thing that you have a hard time seeing is I did put fairy lights. However, um, my three-year-old did go and break pretty much every single strand except one. So they don't light up anymore except one strand all the way at the very top, which would be silly. Our dining room is so cute. I'm so happy with the way that these hanging handles turned out it just looks so cute at night um and then i have this garland up here on over the windows i also have a garland which was one of my options for the staircase up just over the double doors um i like it but i don't like the movement of it so it made decorating trying to decorate and use it um on the banister kind of difficult so we have our little floating candles and then on our table we just have a cute little set of dried florals i got one of the cute little fall candles from target it's a smells so good just i've had these beads and then these adorable pine cone hedgehogs are one of my absolute favorite things i've ever bought <laughs> They're so cute. So those came in a set of three from Target as well. I think everything on here is from Target. I also have these little taper candle holders and the taper candles, the candles and the holders are both from Amazon. I think they're just a nice little touch of fall over here. Cause this is kind of basic minimal. And then I got this cute little pumpkin picture. I just haven't figured out where to hang it or if I'm going to hang it or just let it kind of be somewhere. 
Okay, and in the kitchen, I feel like she got a cutie little fall makeover as well. Here in the middle of the island are just a couple of things on this Lazy Susan. This glass pumpkin is absolutely gorgeous. I bought some fairy lights to go in there so that it lights up. I will say that I bought a large pack of the fairy lights off of Amazon and they really do not last very long. So could definitely use some better fairy lights. Um, this little grass and vase is from Target. The white vase in the back is the Magnolia collection. I have had these palm leaves. They're from Etsy. I just reused those. And then these dried florals are also from Target, which at first my whole plan was to go out and forage for some branches and things like that that were already fallen and I just didn't end up doing it. I might still do it, but this is kind of what it looks like right now. Again, it sort of has that like vintage boho kind of vibe um, and it's not over, overly fall in your face. Just some nice warm reds, those tans. I think it looks really nice. Little pedestal, I of course got some Mrs. Meyers fall scented hand soap and all purpose spray. Um, we have our Autumn Harvest Target candle, which smells so good. I only light one wick at a time because I find that it's like very in your, I will get a headache <laughs> if I light them both and leave them on for too long. So usually I burn like one wick for about 30 minutes to an hour and that just gives me all the cozy fall vibe I need. I got these adorable pumpkin shaped wax melts. Um, they are fall scented and they smell so delicious and they're just so cute. I'm obsessed with these. I ended up buying two different wax warmers just to see if I liked that smell better and I think other than the perfumes and things that they put in candles, I think depending on the different wicks, they have different chemicals in them. And so I was gonna see if maybe it was a little bit better. I don't know, I just started using it. Our plug-in in the wall, which is right here, don't mind any of this, but our, our night light wax warmer is so cute, but it doesn't really, I don't find the fragrance to be very powerful whenever I walk in, which is great. Cause you don't wanna be like getting a headache from the fragrances, but I don't find that that one's as strong as the one in our bedroom, which is cute. But so anyway, I got these and I just think they're so adorable. I decided to display one of my half-baked harvest books and I, I had found this maple cinnamon acorn squash recipe with this stunning picture and I thought that, like what is cozier or more fall than like roasted acorn squash. I mean it just looks beautiful. So that's on a little book rack. I got one of the pumpkin serving dishes from Target. I don't think you can actually cook in it. It's just a cute little piece to go right on the stove. And this is another cute little pumpkin dish. Just something extra. I could put, you know, all different kinds of stuff in there. I could put salt, things like that, but I haven't put anything in it. I just kind of like it here on this pedestal with the candle. This is my coffee spoon. And I have not found a frame, or I don't have a frame yet for this adorable ghost photo that I got from Etsy. So I just kind of had it slid here for now, where the other picture is. Um, I did get a couple of new soups and stews, and then this autumn winter cookbook which I need to start going through because I would love to set a goal to make some new recipes. And then of course my half-baked harvest, the other cookbooks that I have. Got this cute additional like leaf 
cutting board. I got a new coffee mug rack and I am obsessed with this coffee mug. It is so beautiful and screams autumn to me. Um, but you can see we drink a lot of coffee so the rest of my mugs are not on there currently. I will film them all on because it's too cute. That's pretty much it with the kitchen. We have cute little embroidered. I love this napkin or hand towel. This is so beautiful. It feels very um, timeless. Uh, so I love that. This is so cute. It's got a little furry pumpkin on it and it's also embroidered. Um, very cute. I do also have these hand towels, which these are more basic, but this is also embroidered. I got this one in here and I have one in our half bathroom. I'll show in a second. Our half bath, all I did was put this cute little pumpkin rug right here with the sink. I have a cute little, and it doesn't screw on perfectly, which kind of drives me a little bit crazy, but um, it still works, it's functional, and it's so cute, this little pumpkin soap dispenser, and I have some of the Mrs. Meyers fall scented soap in there and then these other hand towels that same one that was in the kitchen and then just this little pumpkin one back there here's our cute little timeless pumpkin jack-o-lantern that i have a few caramel apple suckers in and then just some fuzzy pumpkins because uh, i could not find a spot for these um but this guy just, I absolutely love him. He was from Home Goods. Our last little spot is right outside. I ended up going with these cute little pink wreaths rather than a traditional orange or red wreath because our front door is pink. I need to paint our double doors for the dining room, but I haven't done that yet. So we went pink, we've got a couple of bats on the door, we have our ghost mat that was from Kirkland's. We've had these pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns, here are our spooky little ghosts, and again, I would not use the fairy lights for that, that was a huge mistake on my part. This little jack-o'-lantern, here's my other little spooky ghost, poor thing. And then our double doors. We also have the pink wreaths, which looks so good, all three of them together. And just a few more bats. I did do a little bit of mums and pumpkins. Um, I didn't go overboard, but I think that they turned out so good. It looks so adorable. The pumpkins I got from Lowe's, the mums I got from Lowe's. The only thing is I haven't pulled off the hangers yet for these, but this red color was too gorgeous for me to turn down. So, got those. It turned out so good. I'm so happy with the way it looks. I don't think I mentioned the wreath that I put on our bent hood, but that's it that's everything that that's everything i decorated for the fall season and i am so happy i love it i can't wait to like add on new things each year um if you're new we just moved into this house so um this is the first time we've ever decorated here and i'm just so excited for more years of decorating and then christmas coming up so excited okay so if you haven't already you can check out my fall shop with me and i also have a collection of decorating videos because we did just move to this house and i've just been slowly decorating um, each space and so i've been sharing that uh, process as well which just takes time so if you're interested in any of the home decor type videos then i would love it if you would subscribe and with that i'll see you in the next video